Chicago Film and Arts Festival here in Vallejo. We're just so happy with the way things went this year. I think you all need to give yourselves a big round of applause for showing up and helping out. This is just such a great community. Um, I want to especially thank, uh, since we're at the Empress Theater, our friends that run the Empress, Kevin Frazier, who's Kevin. I guess he's Skip and Carl who are running sound and lights. Mark Allen's going to be doing a video recording. Uh, We've got Charles and Nadine up front with our, our volunteers. Oh, it's wonderful. This place really runs on volunteers. Uh, Dave Ryder is going to be taking photographs. So I probably left somebody out, but thank you all for all you do. And of course, all of our sponsors uh, and partners that you've seen up here, especially the Vallejo Community Arts Center. Thank you. 
trails act was amended to include historic trails, of which some of them are the Lewis and Clark Trail uh, that uh, tells about the westward movement, and, um, and, and as well as the Alakaha Kai Trail, um, and some of the smallest trails, National Historic Trail is um, the Summit to Montgomery Trail. In 1990, uh, the Juan Bautista de Anza National Historic Trail was established, and that's the one that comes through the Bay Area. It commemorates the route taken by Spanish colonists in 1775-76 to um, found the mission in Presidio San Francisco. These were over 240 people that left on September 29, 1775, from Orcasita, Sonora. And they arrived here June 27th, right before the um, start of the Declaration of Independence, June 27, 1776. And what remains here is if you travel around the Bay Area, um, the individuals, the families that came here are, are also the place names um, around the Bay Area. Alviso, Castro, Bernal, Morada. Well, he came a little bit later, but um, con um, also continues. Uh, Spanish colonial history of this uh, this Bay Area, the beginning of um, a movement uh, from the south to the north, the northernmost frontier. Um, so hopefully, as you uh, hear the music, you'll be inspired and perhaps uh, at, at traveling up 101 or hiking, uh, visiting some historic sites along the trail. You'll also be able to envision that and the history of, of this expedition. So uh, when we started this journey to do this Vision of the Wild Festival, we knew we were going to do Wild and Scenic, and we just sort of heard about these composers that put together something called the Landscape, Landscape Composers Network, and that they were going to be doing a series of concerts on Wild and Scenic, and we said, we would love to do that, but we weren't sure how that was all going to happen. For a long time, we were wondering if it was going to happen, but uh, we were able to pull it together with the great thanks from our, our other partners, and uh, really, this is this whole thing is really the the, uh, the idea and the vision of uh, a wild visionary, Nell Shaw Cohen, who is here visiting us from New York City, originally from California. So now I'm going to bring you up, and you can tell us a little bit about this concert that you put together. share this music with us. Um, I'm the director of the Landscape Music Composers Network, as well as this Rivers and Trails concert series. And every piece that you will hear on the program today was written by a member of the Landscape Music Composers Network. And we are composers from across the country whose music engages with landscape, nature, and place. And the three of the composers on the program are here today, myself, Christina Rissa, and Ryan Suleiman. Uh, so, Most of the music on this program was written specifically for this performance and the other concerts on the programs in the Nationwide Rivers and Trails concert series. And these concerts all celebrate the 50th anniversaries of the National Trail System and Wild and Scenic Rivers Acts, uh, with music created in direct response to places protected under these landmark acts. Today we have the pleasure of hearing this music performed by City Water, uh, Sacramento's premier ensemble for contemporary chamber music. And they'll tell themselves a little, tell you a little about themselves later on. Uh, so the first piece on the program is Retrace, which I wrote in response to the Onza Trail that Naomi Torres was just speaking about. And I, I live in New York City, but I was born and raised in the Bay Area, so I was really inspired by this trail's strong connection to this region. Uh, in the process of composing the piece, I followed a portion of the Anza Trail from Los Angeles to San Francisco, and the music reflects my personal impressions of retracing the trail's historical narrative through these urban and rural landscapes of California. And I, I sought to express a vivid sense of the past that emerged from me when I had this experience. And I also wrote a poem in the process of composing the music, um, and each section of the music relates to a section of the text, so I've included the poem in the projection on the video screen along with some photographs that I took along the trail. Uh, later on in the concert, you'll hear a shorter piece that I wrote a couple years ago uh, to commemorate the National Park Service. <laughs> 
Kendall. And this was inspired by another very local subject, which was the Mission Blue Butterfly Habitat in the Marin Headlands. Um, so I want to extend heartfelt thanks to Steve Dunsky, Naomi Torres, and everyone at Visions of the Wild and the Empress Theater for making this event possible. Um, and to City Water for learning and performing all of this very, very new music. I'd also like to acknowledge Greg Smested, Scott Elder, and Christopher Richards for their guidance of my Onza Trail research. Um, finally, I'd like to ask you all a favor. I've written a brief audience survey, which is distributed with your concert programs, and I'm hoping that you'll complete it at the reception after the performance um, when you join us. And uh, your responses will help landscape music put together more concerts in the future. So please welcome City Water. Thank you. 
things. Um, my name is Ryan Suleiman. I'm the composer of the next piece. Uh, I guess I want to start first by thanking uh, City Water, who, if I can brag a little bit, I've known for a while. Many of them are, well, all of them are good friends of mine. And the administrative, administrative student doing an amazing job in this concert. Um, I also want to thank uh, Sonny Bronco, my wife up there, uh, who's in the audience. She did the artwork for the ASC in this piece. Um, I also want to thank uh, Visions of the Wild for doing this uh, concert and commemorating the rivers and trail system that, you know, for me, as you're about to see, have been really important in my life. And uh, also want to thank now, who's put so much work into making this whole series happen. Um, so, the piece you're about to hear is um, inspired by my walks along the American River Trail, which I actually lived right next to as a teenager. Uh, and it's basically where I would go to work out ideas, or you know, when I was stressed, I would go there, or just if I needed to like, get away from things. It was kind of like a, like a good friend, you could say. Uh, and this piece, uh, it's what well, you might see in your uh, notice you have like some movements, and this piece are basically like five like, scenes you could say, uh, kind of mystic scenes by the river after dark. Some of them like kind of half true, half fantasy maybe, um, and you'll maybe the artwork will give you a sense of what I mean. And uh, Jennifer's skillful playing. Um, hope you enjoy. It.
Good afternoon. Um, my name is Jim Stanley, and I'm the Charleston City Water, and this year's Director of Operations for City Water. And we are super, super excited to be a part of this content series, part of this project, part of this weekend. And um, I just want to give a special thanks to uh, Ryan Zuman, the composer of the previous piece. He's actually the person that, that connected me to Nell and really made all this happen. So he's not just a fantastic composer, as you've just heard, he's also a facilitator of awesome stuff. Um, I just want to quickly introduce our band. We are um, six members. Amy Lindsay is our violinist. <laughs> Dr. Kathy Apple on flutes. Neil Dostovich is playing tournaments. <laughs> and uh, Ben Fremont is our percussionist. <laughs> we just got an awesome dose of Jennifer Reese in our pianist. <laughs> One of the very cool things about this project is that Everybody in our group just so happens to really, really love being outdoors on trails. Um, Kathy and I have done a lot of backpacking, and we have now started to do backpacking trips with members of the group, because when you get to know a music group like this, you end up sort of spending a lot of time together, getting to know each other really well, and you either become really, really fast friends, or not. <laughs> uh, fortunately, we've all become really, really fast friends, and we've actually started to do some hiking and trails and, and some vacations together. And, um, then all of a sudden, out of the clear blue sky, comes this opportunity to celebrate those things with the music that we make. And uh, it just felt like a gift from heaven. So we're really pleased that we get to do that. We want to thank now everybody for giving us that opportunity. And um, it's a neat thing that we get to do as performers of modern chamber music. Most of us don't really think of classical music as an alive art form. Uh, most of us in the world, those of us in our little niche, think of it as a very much alive. Program. But we also think of um, ourselves as stewards of old music and uh, champions of new music. And this is a great opportunity for us to be champions of new music. And that idea of stewardship, I think, really comes into play today because what we're talking about is taking care of these wonderful, wild, and scenic places that we love and being good stewards. And now, by coming to this concert, we're also being good stewards of this wonderful tradition of classical music sitting together and playing one of the music with each other. So thank you for that and being a part of that. And without further ado, we're going to play Truths. And Kathy's going to tell you a little bit about it. So part of the, uh, part of the music that we received from Ben Cosgrove included what I think is a really beautiful description of what a trail is. And so I'm just going to go ahead and read that to you. Please keep, thank you. <laughs> a trail is as much an artifact of movement as it is a means of enabling it. To trail is to follow. And in a very basic sense, the shape and direction of a physical trail are determined by the process of people following each other. Its exact path is never really prescribed. Rather, it is gradually articulated by ages of traffic patterns Generally, generally complementary, sometimes overlapping, they gradually merge together into the line that best fits them all. Travel along, a certain vector slowly but eventually consolidates into a trail, just as water tumbling from mountains towards an ocean will gradually organize itself into the branches of a river, wearing away edges, smoothing out corners, forever seeking the truest, most efficient route from source the destination. Likewise, a trail, or a footpath, or a trace, is reinforced again and again by the friction of successive and interrelated patterns of movement. Ultimately, it is distilled into a unique shape that not only carries the distinct signatures of its generations of travelers, but also exposes something essential about the geography of the particular landscape it transects. And so this idea of people following one another is an essential part of this piece. Our score 
is through lines, literally lines on a page. And if you've ever followed a trail map, one of them looks a lot like a trail outlined on, say, a topographical map. Another one looks maybe more like uh, the, the line of elevation gain and loss. And another looks a lot like a series of waypoints connected by straight lines. And we are following one another through these lines. And we haven't been telling each other what we're going to play. So we'll see what happens. <laughs>
This next part is our last piece on our program. We want to thank you once again for having us out here and playing this wonderful, beautiful theater. It's one of the best parts about uh, having the house life back so we want to get a good look at it. Again. And circulating is uh, our own Dr. Kathy Apple and Colin somewhere. And they're handing out bird calls because there ain't no music concept that's quite like a sing along. <laughs> So we're going to do a little audience participation. And um, they're all being handed some noise makers. So much like when I hand my fourth graders recorders, the first thing I tell them is, when I do this, you have to stop. <laughs> so that's the, that's the big rule. When I do this, make some noise. OK? And the beginning of this piece is going to start with that. OK? So, 
I want y'all to get a chance to, hey. I want y'all to get a chance to, um, to practice a little bit, so let's take about the next 30 seconds. Practice your part. Go ahead. start with that, um, and I'll give you just one big cutoff, and after that, the, most of the nature sounds is going to come from the, the band, so hopefully it all works out. And um, once again, I want to thank you all for coming up and, and listening to us play some music, and I want to thank a couple of folks in particular. Number one, uh, Nell Shop Cohen, who organizes this. Ask for something more fun to work with. Um, it's been really great. And uh, Christina Rizmack for our, her wonderful music. City Water has a board, which is our wonderful friends Judy, Scotty, and Dan. I want to thank them all with them. And then the last little two pieces of information are for everybody in the audience. Number one, if you have a bird call when you're done with the concert, unfortunately it's not a door prize. You don't get it. <laughs> you have to put it back here in the box so that we can send it on. I have mailing addresses to send it on to the next concert. So these are going to go all over the world, but I think this is the first. So we get to be first. I can already tell you you're going to be the best. Too bad for the rest of you. And then lastly, to invite you to the reception afterwards, which is right through this little door over here, and meet the players, meet the composers, meet the people who are organizing this festival, uh, touch base with them, tell them about your favorite trail, tell me about your favorite trail, I'm about it. And uh, hopefully we can create a little outside space inside here, and this last piece, which is uh, Wild Beauty.